In this video, I want to give you guys a better view of diamond clarity. I want to give you a magnified footage so you can actually see the clarity flaws up close. That way you can see for yourself what matters with clarity and what doesn't to you. Also, I want to show you how diamond stores trick you to pay more for diamonds when buying a lower clarity. Let me put up a diamond. Do you see any clarity flaws in this diamond? Do you even care when the diamond is sparkling that much? Now, let's put that diamond next to two other diamonds. Can you tell which of these is flawless and which is not? Or are you still just taken back by its overall brilliance? This is what is interesting about diamond clarity. Diamond retailers use fancy lights to show off how sparkly a diamond is. So you normally don't pay attention to the clarity, nor do you care because you're focused on how much that diamond is sparkling. The issue is once you leave the store, it will hardly ever be in such a flattering light again, if ever. Now, people normally don't notice a diamond's clarity too much anyway, because our eyes aren't trained to it. Most people buying diamonds don't notice the flaws in the store that much because it takes some getting used to. The issue is, once you do see the flaw, you will never unsee it. So it is best to make sure any flaw in the diamond is not visible and most diamonds do have flaws or as they call them, inclusions. In my opinion, you are fine if you stay above a clarity grade of VS2 for most people. Inclusions in this grade are very, very hard to see. Now, the two diamonds you see here have two different grades. The first is internally flawless grade, or IF. That means if you crank up the magnification 10 times, you will not be able to see any flaws in this diamond still at that magnification. The second one is SI2 clarity, which means that some of its flaws will possibly be obvious to the naked eye, possibly, and will definitely be visible under magnification. Now, our magnification that we're using in this video varies between two and five times, which means you don't have to worry if you think these inclusions are very big because that's not how they will appear in real life with your own eyes. This is just because they're under magnification. Now, here's what you'll be able to see in real life when I use a lens and normal lighting that is close to real life. As you can see, these are the same diamonds and it just isn't as important the clarity at this distance under this light. Now, be warned, our untrained eyes can't see flaws very well, especially at first when we're looking at diamonds. But once your eyes can spot a flaw, they will never unsee that flaw on that diamond. So if you do buy a diamond with a flaw, make sure it's on the side of the diamond or you hide it under a clasp or a prong where they won't be seen that much. To the best of your ability, which of these two diamonds looks like it has the worst clarity? I would say the one on the right looks worse. Even when we look at the diamonds under a lens that mimics our own eyesight and not magnified, you can still kind of see the flaws at this poor clarity. The funny thing is when we look at the diamond grading, they both have the exact same grade of SI2. What happened here? What gives? Well, the one on the right was graded by a for-profit lab, which has a skewed diamond grading. The one on the left is a non-profit lab called GIA and is the best and gold standard in diamond grading. The reason for this is diamond retailers hope you don't know the difference and sell you the more flawed diamond on the right for slightly less. Now, you bought the diamond thinking the diamonds were the same, but you actually bought one that was more inferior to the other. If the GIA lab had graded this diamond, the price would have been even more less than what you paid for it because it would have the true grading, which would have put it in a much lower price point and much lower grade level of clarity. So the diamond store makes more money because you think you got a good deal, but actually they sold you a way inferior product for a higher price and you just got ripped off. This is exactly what happened to me before I knew a lot about diamonds and I purchased a diamond from a shady retailer one time. Check out this email I got when I ordered the diamond with a color shade H from a for-profit lab. The email reads, 
EGL is a for-profit lab. They are very lenient in their grading system. When compared to GIA, this diamond will be closer to a KL color. In case you didn't believe me, this email is proof. So had I bought this diamond, I would have been paying a lot more for less of a diamond. This is why a diamond certificate from GIA is more predictable in the quality of a diamond than seeing it with your own eyes in a brick and mortar diamond store. Those lights will have you fooled and so will the low quality lab certificate. This is why I like buying diamonds from the link below. They use lighting that will expose the color and not conceal it. And since it is better to use a certificate to know how impressive the diamond will be in real life once you leave that store, it's better to buy it from my link anyways because it is way less expensive and you can see that from my diamond price comparison videos. The great thing about using the link below to buy your diamond besides saving money is that you can get almost any diamond exactly to your liking. If you go to a diamond store, you're stuck with the limited selection and inventory that they have. Now, that link will help you out. So if you go to another device, make sure you come back and click on that link before buying the diamond. Here on my channel, we kind of talk about whatever big purchases people make like travel, home automation, beds, whatever. So like my channel if you want somebody to break all that down for you and tell you the best choices to make for your purchases. I'll see you in the next video.